Hello and welcome to Konrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. This week's beer is a typical beer from Germany, Jever, Pilsner. And you know what? I love to talk about craft beers. I mean, there's, there's a variety of craft beers and probably if, you, if you've seen some of them on Konrad Seidel's Beer of the Week, you really know that I love them. But um, one beer that uh, is typically brewed in large breweries and uh, has a special quality when it's brewed in the German North. That's Pilsner beer, German style Pilsner. Um, Jever uh, has a fame of being one of the, if not the, uh, most bitter beers in Germany. Uh, we're talking about something like up to 40 IBUs, which is very high for a Pilsner beer. And, and it's very clean and crisp. You can even tell from when you pour it, it's this, this really lovely light straw to golden color. This amazing white foam, very, very stable. I have to pour several times to get it right. See? And if you, if you just try the foam, like that, you, you already get this, this hoppy impression that, that that beer has. But I'll try to add some more because it's just beautiful. Huh? Well, now if you try to pick the aroma, there's lots and lots of intense hoppiness. There's there's like you expect that beer to be bitter, and definitely is because. You see, there's this good carbonation, very fine carbonation, but it sort of gets you this refreshing and, and uh, tingling uh, effect on your palate. And, and then the, the, the whole hoppiness sets in, and it's, it's bitterness, but it's not only bitterness. It's a lot of aroma. You pick some aroma with your nose, but most of the aroma you get is retronasal because You have the beer in your mouth and the aroma builds up and you get it from the front but also from uh, your mouth and it gets, gets this complex hoppiness, this complex bitterness which is so typical for a German style Pilsner. German style Pilsners uh, in recent years have, some of them have lost some of the bitterness. So. Uh, some, some German style pills are only down to 25 IBUs, but this is a, a really hearty one and uh, you, you see that even the color of the beer is, is slightly greenish, I think. It's, 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 it's just a, a beautiful color and, and it tells you this is going to be a very nice, very slim, very, very hot pronounced beer. As you drink, you feel no maltiness, but it has a good body. There's I mean, some of that body comes from, from, from the bitter impression, from, from the hop impression, from the taste of the hops, which is not only bitterness, it's, it's a very complex bitterness. So you, you get a nice mouthfeel and you feel this is, this is a hearty uh, beer. It's, it's, it's not a beer for, for those who, who say, oh, I want some soft pills. No, no, that, that's... That's what you expect from a German style Pilsner. And it's not one of the beers where you oh, I want to have light bread or something. Take pumpernickel, take uh, hearty rye bread with some good German butter on it. Uh, and that will complement that beer very well. So enjoy a German style Pilsner. Try to get your hands on a, a Jever and join me next week for another Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. Now for the pumpernickel.